So do you know what happens when you press delete in the context menu or press delete on your keyboard for a file or folder? You expect it to be deleted, right? For an average user, the workflow goes as follows. You go to your file, you delete it, then periodically you would go to your recycle bin and empty it and the data is gone, right? Maybe, maybe not. Because of how storage works, your data is never actually deleted physically until you manually go and override it with something else. So in this video, I'll show you how to permanently delete your files for whatever reason, security or otherwise. The procedure is a little bit different for hard drives and SSDs. I'll detail it in the guide. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right guys, so for showing you what happens when you normally delete the files, I have some audio files here. You can see my recycled bin has some files. I'm gonna empty it real quick. So now these are being permanently deleted, but in some cases the data might still be there and I'll show you how to get it. Recycled bin's empty. Now I'll have the recycled bin open here and then my other folder here. So whenever I delete a file, say I want to tr delete track 30, just go hit delete. It's now in the recycle bin. So it's not really deleted, it's just moved to a folder that's marked recycle bin. Now to permanently delete it on Windows, that's what it says when you try to delete it, you are permanently deleting this file. But if you're running a mechanical hard drive, which is traditional magnetic hard drive, what happens when you press yes is that the data is actually marked for deletion and is not actually deleted because what happens is when you mark it for deletion you actually tell the operating system that this data is no longer required so you can write something else there but until you write something else there the data might still be there now there is an exception and that is SSDs to check if you're running an SSD Go to device manager once you're in the device manager look for your basic storage so i have intel ssd and samsung ssd if you have an ssd you can enable or disable trim which is an ssd specific feature where you can automatically permanently wipe data if you delete it from recycle bin which increases the performance of the ssds as well so if you're running a hard drive, for example, this is a hard drive here, so it won't say SSD. If we delete data from it, we are very likely to able to recover that data if we didn't write anything new to it. But I don't wanna go deep into data recovery, but generally speaking, to check if SSD is there and SSD trim is enabled, and in most modern systems, it's enabled by default, all you need to do is go to command prompt and then right click as, as admin. Now all you need to do is type in fsutil behavior query disable delete notify disable delete notify. So we're just querying if trim is enabled or not. Press enter. Don't use the u in behavior. There you go. So NTFS, disable delete notify is set to zero. REFS, disable, disable delete notify is also set to zero, which means that our trim is enabled. So we don't need to do anything. But what if this was one? If this came back as one on your SSD for whatever reason, if there was malware in your system or maybe something else messed with your system, you may want to enable trim. And to do that, all you have to do is just press the up arrow again and now in this time fsutil instead of query we type in set and then zero and press enter as you can see this operation takes effect immediately no reboot required it was already set to zero so not a huge deal anyway but if you need to do this go ahead and no need to restart and now when you delete a file also if you guys didn't know if you want to permanently delete a file and bypass recycle bin completely you can either press shift delete which will do this permanently delete the file or you can hold shift right click and then hit the delete icon it will still permanently delete the file bang gone it didn't go to recycle bin it's completely gone irrecoverable permanently deleted but what if you're running a hard drive say hello to eraser so eraser is a software that allows you to write random numbers 
to the location where the file was located which in English it means it will permanently delete your files without any chance of recovery so we'll just do this download the latest version let it download installing installing typical okay now we can run eraser to delete files manually like that or we can go to our hard drive because in SSDs it's already not a huge deal but you can use eraser on SSDs as well but it's unnecessary on your hard drive this is my hard drive let's uh let's find a movie I guess I don't want this diary of a wimpy kid right click show more options eraser erase you can also use secure move so if you want to securely move your files from this computer that I'm using and onto a USB drive and permanently remove any traces of that on the system you can use secure move I'm gonna select erase are you sure you wish to erase selected items there are some options here you can run immediately run on restart blah 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 I'm just gonna leave it on default press yes and give it a few seconds you can see it's taking its time the reason it takes this much time is because it's one or two gigabytes I think it was so it takes a lot of time to delete this and this is the reason why when you normally delete your files Windows just marks it as mark for deletion rather than actually deleted because it takes a lot of resources and time which most people don't have to delete the files but in a secure situation this might be a better solution so to conclude if you have an SSD so I'll just go back here so there are two SSDs NVMe Samsung and NVMe Intel what I need to do is just enable trim and you're good to go anytime you delete an empty or recycle bin your data is gone it's not coming back and then for hard drives you go to eraser and then you delete the files you might be wondering what if I didn't use that method well all you need to do is download a software called recover this is a free software from CCleaner which is not very reputed brand as of today but recover is a free data recovery software so if you ever lose any files you can just download this app to recover all your data if you want to see a detailed video on how to recover lost data I can make a video on that just hit subscribe and that's all done and there you have it guys that's how you delete files permanently so they are not recoverable by any data recovery software and are permanently gone you can use this method for confidential work stuff or maybe you're a game developer and you don't want your code to remain on your old laptop something like that you can now get rid of it permanently no issues Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helped you deleting the files that you wanted. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell if you want to watch more Windows 11 content. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.